Each crash of the wrecking ball sends another chunk of the historic freighter malt silos tumbling down, but it also sends a cloud of dust over the adjoining neighborhood. I got the stuff just right in my eyes. I mean, my eyes were all full of this grit. Judy Radonsky's lived in the shadow of the massive silos for 50 years. You're worried about this? I am worried about it. I'm worried about myself. I'm worried about the kids in the neighborhood. You can see the dust and grime just covering this truck and really this whole neighborhood. Neighbors say that's what they've been breathing in as the result of this work. This is all the grit that's coming from over there and into our lungs. Edgar Delisio, who can see the wrecking ball from his front porch, has tried to get help in limiting the dust. Do you feel as though your concerns are being dismissed? Very much, very much. The challenge, he says, is that the demolition is happening in the village of West Milwaukee, but the dust is settling across the street in the city of Milwaukee. The residents have made West Milwaukee officials aware of their concerns, and Milwaukee city leaders, health officials, and the Wisconsin DNR have also been contacted. The demolition company did not immediately respond to 12 News' request for comment Monday, but our cameras did spot crews briefly hosing down the site several times to limit the dust. Neighbors, though, worry that won't be enough to ease their concerns. I'm worried about what we're breathing in, my family, our neighbors, you know, your friends and stuff, even our animals, our dogs, you know. In Milwaukee, I'm Kent Wayne Scott, WISN 12 News.